This is Brandmano2, and in this video, I am showing you all how to get Windows Defender on your Windows 7 PC. And let's begin. Okay, so first you would go ahead and go to the web browser, and I'm going to go ahead and go into Chrome, and it is actually the best way to get there if you just type up Windows Defender. It is very hard to get it from Microsoft website, however, it is there. I'm going to go ahead and open that in a new tab. So now you are on the Microsoft website. And this tells you all about Windows Defender. And right here, you will see where it says Microsoft Security Essentials. So go ahead and click that. And it tells you how Microsoft Security Essentials is a free product for Windows Vista and Windows 7. And Windows Defender replaces it in Windows 8. Although it is the same concept. And just in case you're wondering, there is an asterisk, asterisk next to where it says free. That is not because you actually have to pay for it. It is just telling you that you may need to pay for internet service. Just in case you caught that. And this tells you all about it. And you can go ahead and click download the product. And it's going to go ahead and download. And it does actually tell you about it. And it should go ahead and install. And then once it finishes downloading, it should go ahead and load up on the screen for you. And the first time you open it, it will tell you to go ahead and run a scan and I actually have downloaded this prior to this but it has the same concept and it go ahead and scans everything in the computer quickly so it may not get everything but it gets a good majority of it other after the first scan which is the entire scan for the entire computer to make sure you don't have any viruses it will just do a quick scan weekly and if it catches a virus it will go ahead and delete it for you and the app will update Microsoft is keeping this up to date but yet now separate from Windows Defender on Windows 10 originally it was the same Back before this computer was factory reset, I had Windows Defender 
which I unknowingly have downloaded prior to Windows 10. And while that's why you still can use the computer, and as it says here, you can set it to when you want it to run. The original default was on a Thursday night. I changed it to Friday at 5. And you can actually set it like on here where you can limit the CPU usage. So it does not make your computer too hot when you're not using it. Or even when you are using it and it's updated. And under history, it tells you everything you've had that has it detected as a threat. And for update, you can just go ahead and update the definition and just basically updates the program. Now, during your first scan, it will not allow you to do this, especially since the most likely be nothing to update as you have just installed. And the first scan may take a while and if your PC is as old as mine from 2011, it may take a while. For me it took a few hours and that was just because of the current condition of my computer however if yours is one of the last Windows 7 or it had Windows 10 and you installed Windows 7 it should run pretty fast and thank you for watching this video and if you like it please subscribe and if you're still a little confused of how I got to this go ahead and tell me this in the comments below and I'm going to leave a link to the Microsoft website in the description below and also if you'd like me to look at this on Windows 10 as Windows Defender go ahead and also tell me that in the comments below thanks for watching have a great day